let's go and change the type to image uh, let's add status let's add make sure it's square like so add story and remove square make sure it's a circle let's change the type to icon you can change the icon from here hello everyone this is payam welcome to undesign channel so in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually create avatars and add it to your design system as you can see this is going to be a rich avatar and i have prepared all the properties that i need as a list so we can continue um, creating it i have a set of avatars that i already created so for example uh, this is just a frame with a text inside of it this is going to be the, our image avatar this is going to be our icon avatar because you never know sometimes you need this and then I uh, pasted some of the draw kit avatar set and actually edited some of them um, from the variants uh, that's also available on Figma community so if you want to check that out please do and you can basically create your own avatars I, I'm just gonna go with this one I have 10, uh, 10 avatars that I'm gonna add to my component the other properties are um, icon which I already to told you about the status which is gonna be um, the one that we created in the previous video and then we have the size because you never know where you're gonna need it you're gonna need it on comments sometimes you're gonna need a profile on a chat on um, yeah many other occasions so also we have the square so uh, let's go ahead and create it so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna duplicate this this is just to showcase how it's gonna look so what I'm going to do, I'm going to ungroup these and um, actually go ahead and create it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, come here and then um, I'm going to create a component out of this one. Like so. I'm going to rename it to avatar. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and create the properties. So if, if it's going to have a border, I'm going to create a variant call it border and then um, I'm gonna set the value to this to false let me increase the size of this one a little bit and if you want to like edit something outside of a, outside of a component just make sure for example I'm gonna turn this one to a component and I'm gonna cut it and paste it inside of this one so as you can see there's already um, a variant created but make sure that you have uh, added all your properties that you can work on. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and add that uh, variant that is um, type. The default is gonna be initials. And this is the, the border for this is gonna be false. And the uh, type for this one is gonna be image. All right. Now, as you can see, I have um, basically named my illustrations so uh, another thing that I'm gonna do is add another variant and change the basically illustration component then I have a bunch of names that I have have here like Atlas Brooks, um, Luna, Montgomery, uh, Jackson, Maddox and you know other names like that so I'm gonna write 10 names all right then what I'm gonna do is again um, convert this to a component I'm gonna cut it and paste it here the border is gonna be false for now the type the type is gonna be icon all right as you can see it, it kind of looks like the background is the same but it's not so what I'm going to do is um, set a white background to this so you can easily differentiate it. The next one is going to be converting these all to components. So let's select all of them and create actually not one component, one by one. Create multiple components. All right. Now let's go ahead and add these so there's this is gonna be 
Actually, before doing so, you know what we can do is basically control Z. So th these are going to be our components, and I'm going to add them to our illustrations. So what I'm going to do is just select all of them and rename it. Rename it to current name space slash. So I, I actually selected all of them and hit control or command R to rename them as a group. Actually batch, rena you know, renaming, renaming them as a batch. So again, let's one more time. Rename to, I want to keep the current name. Okay. Then I'm going to hit a space and slash. Or what, what I can do, I wanted to add them to illustration. So illustrations space slash then the current name and voila you can see that they are all grouped up in illustrations and what I'm gonna do is just go to my um, actually components and find illustrations and bring one of these basically I'm gonna bring Atlas Brooks like so I'm gonna add it here Or you cannot add it because you need to create another component here. So what I'm going to do again, um, also let's so because these are illustrations, let's remove the corner radius out of them. So it's going to be zero, like so. All right. Now I'm going to create. A, um, actually, maybe we can just copy this. Yeah. Okay. Duplicated type is going to be illustration. All right. Now I'm going to cut this and paste it inside of this. Like so. I'm going to remove this icon. And since uh, we have the clipping component uh, unlocked, I'm going to actually set, the, set this one to zero. Because we don't need the corner radius here. And also the clipping component. All right. Now what we can do is basically add an instant swap to swap these basically um, names. So what I'm going to do now, let's make sure that we have everything ready. And we're going to add some components, some, va some variants to make sure that we can edit our component in our design easily. So for the initials, I'm going to add the text. It's going to be initials. The value for my design, so I'm going to go with PM, something like that. Then I'm going to connect it from here to initials. And I'm going to create another um, property, which is going to be the instant swap. It's going to be icon component. All right. And then I'm going to pick the user like so create a property and I'm going to select it and I'm going to connect it basically to, a co to our comp icon component and now I'm going to create another instance swap for avatars so it's going to be illustration and it's going to be illustra illustration so I'm going to go with atlas books something like that then I'm going to select this Select the last one, and I'm going to connect it to illustration, like so. All right, now we have created all. Let me actually delete the icon because it's not a boolean anymore. And yeah, as you can see, we, uh, let's go ahead and see what we have created so far. So I'm going to test it out. Let's find avatar. All right. As you can see, I can change uh, the, in the type to image, right, to icon. Then I can change the icon easily. And I can change it to illustration. And if the illustration is activated, I can easily change the, the avatar. So you can add anything here you want. Just make sure it's square so you can play around with the corner radius here. All right. Um, actually, that is the main part on uh, creating an avatar. The next part is going to be just um, the same as the other components that we created. We're going to add um, story, border, and other sizes. So I'm going to pause the video here in order to reduce the length. 
so it, it doesn't get boring and I'll see you in a sec all right I have created all the variants that's needed from size I actually added two size uh, two more sizes like um, X large and extra small so well, let's go ahead and test it out and see how we're looking all right um, I have a frame here I'm gonna hit shift I to find um, my component I'm gonna um, search for avatar like so I'm gonna drag and drop it here and yeah, this is extra small actually you can edit um, the initials however you want for example you can change it to um, one initial only and um, or maybe something else let me something like that and you can basically align it on your design system uh, from here and yeah let's go ahead and continue testing it out so let me center align this one uh, i want to change the size to medium like so and then i'm going to add a border uh, adding a border causes this to uh, stand out if you want to like add an image underneath for example a cover as you can see so let's go and change the type to image uh, let's add status let's add make sure it's square like so add story and remove square make sure it's a circle let's change the type to icon you can change the icon from here to anything as you can see like user octagon and you can edit the um, icon basically easily and then let's change it to illustration if it's illustration you can change it to the ones that we already added like so and as you can see we have a complete avatar that we can use through our uh, design in the next video i'm going to show you how you can actually use this and add um, text and subtitles to it so stay tuned for the next one thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one cheers